So Senia celebrated her birthday this past weekend. So happy birthday to her. Now Trey went live on Instagram. And of course, people were asking him about his daughter as well as the situation with Senia. Where's your daughter? My daughter is with her. No, nah, I think her mama. It's her mama's birthday. So her mama's not at home. No, nah, her mama's probably home by now. It's 6 a.m. She better be home. It's like, no, nah, let me bring that. No, nah, she, she, she at home. Well, yeah. I would, yeah, but it's her birthday today. And then my daughter, so she got to be with her grandma right now. Somebody said, child, I'm 22. This our prime. Y'all asking me questions, but like, I can't even click the question thing because my hand's shaking because I'm freezing. So it seems like Trey may still have some feelings involved. I mean, he did state that she better be at home, meaning she better not be out with another guy or something. Now, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Honestly, in my opinion, I'm thinking that they are going to get back together. Not sure how long it's going to take, but I wouldn't be surprised within the next month or so if Trey and Senia give their relationship another try. But that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below now let's move on to this next topic with Corey's ex and alleged baby's mother molly now a few days ago i did a video about molly mentioning something about the dna test results although she said she had them in she was not sharing them at the moment she did state that she did a sibling dna test it wasn't actually a dna test with Corey involved she did it on the siblings which honestly like i stated previously i don't know what that proves now when molly went live Live on Instagram, people, of course, were asking her about this situation. Now, I'm going to post the live here because people were stating things in the comments that Molly was giving direct answers to. Now, honestly, in my opinion, it seems like that she's stating that the baby is Corey's, which I don't see how she can know that for sure if Corey never did a DNA test because the sibling DNA test wouldn't prove anything. So I'm going to post the live here. You guys, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation down in the comment section below do you guys feel like this baby could possibly be Corey's, or is molly just dragging the situation at this point no but um yeah and i'm not even gonna lie like i really don't care i don't care no more because tj have somebody he does he has somebody that takes great care of them, great care of both of my kids. The grandparents are the best. They support me in my career and my kids. They don't get tired of them. They ask me, when am I bringing them? Even if I just picked them up yesterday, they gonna still ask me to bring them back because they done bought them this. They done got them that. They want to spend some time with them. They came up with a party for the kids. They want the kids to come back. Right now, my life is so go it's going so good. I don't need nothing to mess it up. And see, like right now, I don't, like when I go to Texas, y'all, I don't even think I want to come back to Alabama because y'all know I'm from there. And I already know how I get. I might not even come back, bro. Life right now is going great. It's going so good. How are you doing tonight? I'm great. She wanted you to add her, but I ain't say nothing. Yeah, I don't do her like that. I love your hair. Thank you. Um, it really ain't nobody business though. I I fucked up on speaking on behalf of my business. I really did, but that's because I was stressed out and I was going through things. And when you stressed out and you doing everything by yourself, it, it drives you crazy to the point, especially when you have two kids and you're young and you're not able to achieve the goals that you want to achieve at a certain time. It's going to drive you crazy when you're not achieving what you want to achieve. And you know for a fact that you can have help, but that help don't want to help. That's what drives me crazy at that point. But I promised myself I would never do no crazy shit like that ever again. Like, y'all would never, ever see me act up like that ever again. I don't care how low somebody stoops. I'm not, I'm not responding to that shit no more. 
I'm just being straight up. It's my life. It's my business. And I fucked up on telling y'all my business. Y'all will never, ever see me do that again. It's really none of your business. And that is so fucked up that y'all, like, really be posting pictures of my kids without my permission. Um, y'all be making up shit. I understand. Y'all got to have something to talk about. It's drama that y'all want to talk about. And that's cool. But don't be adding and subtracting shit to make your page look good. And I feel like that's fucked up. It's just he was mad that he got caught messing with you. It ain't even about that no more. It ain't even about that no more. Girl, see, you trying to get the answer up out of me, and you not finna get the answer, but you are definitely wrong, Miss fucking Brittany. Definitely understand. Thank you. Why you sound like you from Alabama? Cuz I've been here since I was 14. I know I sound like Alabama folks. I'm proud of you for doing what you're doing. Thank you. Stop asking about her children anymore, though. Right. Did she say it wasn't his? I never, ever said it. Mind your business. Stay positive. Stay up. You fire. Thank you. You don't. You, girl, no, you don't. You know what? Get the fuck off my life. No, you don't. It ain't no, no, you know, you know what, bitch, get on my, you know what, I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna let y'all get the best of me, cause you so humble, I fuck with you, thank you, girl, I ain't gotta do shit, you wrong, you don't know me, you don't know shit, you don't know nothing, you don't know nothing, stop speaking on my child, boo, cause you don't know shit, you don't know shit, Hush now, but you look stupid. Continue to keep your head up, baby girl. I am. She didn't start shit. I know that shit real. No, you was talking about my child. You was talking about my child. You was talking about my child. That's my problem right now. Girl, t wrong. t wrong. Stop. Stop. Leave it alone. Carmen just had her baby. She just had her baby. If I wanted to stress somebody out, I would have been did it. Let that shit rest. It's over with. It's done. My kids have a support system. I have a support system. I'm straight. I don't need nobody money. I don't need nobody time. I don't need nobody fame. I don't need none of that. So stop involving me in shit like that. And it's just because I had an opinion on a situation, that don't mean nothing. Everybody else had an opinion too on that situation he had talking about that girl dead baby. Everybody had an opinion on it. And then it was some days that went by, the situation was dying down. But my one little comment, y'all just put the hoe on the spotlight. I understand why, but at the end of the day, chill out. It ain't always got to be a problem with something. That's what I'm saying. Everything ain't always got to be no damn issue. Let it go. Let it go. Me and Corey, let that shit go. He happy. She happy. They just had a baby. Let them folks breathe. They still growing. They still figuring out what the fuck going on in their life. I'm still figuring out what the fuck going on in my life. I don't need, I don't, I don't need it at all. At all. Hell no. Remove yourself. I am. They have their own thing going on. They literally have two different pages now. They both will handle business behind closed door. Let this girl handle her business. Thank you. Block her. Shit, that would it look like I'm going to have to do. Next person say something out of the way. I'm going to cut y'all asses out for her. She been doing good. Leave her the fuck alone for real. Oh, God. Chill. They rich and successful. Why you? I'm not. They bashing them on my life. I don't care about them. I don't have no um. I don't have no uh. What you call it? Like a grudge or anything like that. I just I'm tired of folks 
putting me with them. Like, if that makes sense. Like, every time I say something or I do something, y'all think that it's about them. No, it's not. Let them the fuck go. Let them go. I let him go. Y'all let him go. Come on, now. 